The following program is brought to you in living color. Welcome to a Super Bowl Sunday edition of This Week in TV History. As always, you can read my blog, childhoodtelevision.blogspot.com. You could uh, listen to me on TV Confidential, a radio talk show about television. And uh, wow, it's about 45 minutes till kickoff uh, for uh, the Super Bowl, which is being played in Los Angeles. So it's Super Bowl 56, Los Angeles Rams versus the Cincinnati Bengals. I've lived in Los Angeles since I was seven years old, and my wife Donna is actually a Cincinnati girl, so it should be interesting. I got everything laid out from the chips to the guacamole to uh, wraps to beer. Everything is set to go for me to head down and enjoy the game. But I am reminded about something that took place 20 years ago. It was uh, Super Bowl 36, February 3rd, 2002. And I think this is the best commercial, Super Bowl commercial, since Mean Joan Green got that Coca-Cola from the kid. Uh, I'm talking about the Clydesdales. The Clydesdales paying tribute to everyone who was lost on 9-11. So keep in mind, this aired about five months after the attacks on the World Trade Center. And uh, this commercial was uh, featuring the Clydesdales leaving their stable, heading to New York City, crossing the Brooklyn Bridge, going to Battery Park, looking at the Statue of Liberty, facing what we would know then as Ground Zero and bowing. And uh, so it's a pretty impressive commercial. First, I want to say that uh, the bowing was not CGI. It was not trip photography. The horses actually were trained to make that bow. Uh, the shooting of this commercial was a very big deal just from the production standpoint because it really was the first professional production to shoot in lower Manhattan since the attacks on the World Trade Center. There is a moment where there's a helicopter shot showing the, uh, the flight stills crossing the Brooklyn Bridge. Now, this was done with special permission from Mayor Giuliani, so nobody else was able to go into the airspace uh, near Lower Manhattan at that time. So they got special permission to get that helicopter shot, which is pretty amazing. Now, since that commercial first aired, it has never been on TV. Uh, it is available to see on YouTube. It's easy enough to find. And on the 10th anniversary, and most recently on the 20th anniversary, uh, the end of the commercial has been updated. So when you see the 10th anniversary and the 20th anniversary uh, commercials, you can see how... Uh, the skyline has changed over time since that horrible day. Anyway, I think it's a great commercial. If you haven't seen it, um, it, it, it sets the standard, and it really is heartfelt to watch. So I'm going to go back downstairs and start enjoying the pregame show. Uh, Donna should be home soon. We might have to watch the game from separate rooms. But uh, again, listen to me on uh, TV Confidential, a radio talk show about television. Read my blog, travelwithtelevision.blogspot.com. I'm done talking. Go enjoy the game. Stay tuned.